Online daters. What's the least sexy thing people put in their bars? What are your typical Friday nights? My Friday nights are never typical. Really? Like are you juggling freaking chainsaws or something? I feel like you'd have to practice that, so there definitely would some I gotta practice chainsaw juggling again nights. People who start off with an obvious chip on their shoulder, looking for someone who actually wants to meet up don't know why I'm wasting my time on this only swipe right if you can hold a conversation. You know a lot of these are reasonable to want, but saying it like this makes you look like a piss bobby I don't want to strike up a conversation with, especially if it's your entire profile. What am I doing with my life? Living it, or any stark profile maxing at 4 sentences that complains about generic first messages. If you give me nothing to work with them how am I supposed to start a conversation? Don't bother if you can't hold a conversation. It's just so condescending. If there's no chemistry here it could full well be you too, dude. Once saw a profile that said I want a 666 man. 6 featuring tall, 6 pack abs, and 6 figure salary. Coincidentally she was probably about a 6 stroke 10. Sorry, Kit Harrington. You don't make this woman's obviously well thought out standards. Basically anything that suggests you need to entertain them or that they want an unequal relationship. I see an awful lot of profiles with things ranging from the typical say something more than hi, which isn't so bad, to straight up keep me interested type comments. You are not a prize to be one or you wouldn't be on a dating site. It is not my job to fall over myself trying to please you. I'm here to find an equal partner, not to be your entertainment. You are not a prize to be one you sir, have watched Aladdin as many times as me. Looking for my partner in crime. A couple years back, I opened a conversation asking what kind of crime she was considering because I was up for some light B and E. She replied with, huh. This one wasn't fluent in sarcasm. Women whose every single photo is with a group of their girlfriends, so you can't easily work out which one is actually them. Sure, you might want a couple of group photos to show that you're not some weird loner, but don't force me to become a detective. Both genders are horribly terrible at it, and yes, generally it's the ugly one. Actually guys are really bad about posting only pictures of stupid crap like their cars. I'm not here to date a goddamn automobile, dude. Muddin, truckin, and huntin a life. Jesus and family first. Proud mommy of two inches. Going on tinder in rural MO is a dang mess sometimes. Like good god woman you're 18. The pissy in your face attitude. Way too common. And I dunno why those people even are on a dating site if they hate everything and everyone. I hate everything and everyone. But it's because of online dating. Things like don't bother messaging me if you're not. Dude. You're not cupid. You're not ruling people out. You're ruling yourself out. Don't bother messaging if you can't handle brutal honesty. You're not brutally honest. You're an butthole. Let's call a spade a spade. You didn't have to be so brutally honest QQ. I always hated bias that read like. 23. Virgo. Crossfit, nutrition, nerd, or, Tiffany lover of nature coffee drinker dances life. Like, why can you just write a paragraph, man? I like long walks on the beach. It's the middle of winter, we don't live anywhere near the ocean, and who the frick doesn't like walking on the beach? I live in Toronto and I see this on Suu Mena guys profiles on Mayo. As a girl I hate seeing. A pic of you and 5 girls who are barely dressed, always skinnier and prettier than the average girl on a dating app is gonna be. A pic of you chugging a beer or with a bottle of hard liquor turned up in the air, or any pic where it's obvious you are totally tanked. I'm chubby. Deal with it. Dude I couldn't give a frick about a few extra pounds but as soon as you get aggressive about I am out. A shirtless mirror selfie. One pic that shows half of your face. And the rest are group pics. Which one are you? Actually 15 not 22. Don't like me unless you are xy tall. Not bitter because I am tall. But seriously especially when average garden gnome is taller than her. I've seen a few profiles that are just. Like I get it's supposed to make it seem easier to figure out what kind of person they are but holy heck Batman use your freaking words we are adults. 
I am an intellectual. You're a pretentious tea who thinks you're deep because you badly misunderstood Nietzsche once in college. I can be a hot mess at times really means I'm a freaking slob who likes drama and expects somebody to clean up after me. TBH if someone said I'm a freaking slob who likes drama and expects somebody to clean up after me, I might actually take a quick gander. Not into black guys. Turns me right the frick off for some reason. Probably cause I'm a black guy. Girl, it's Tinder. Just don't swipe right on any black guys and you're good. No reason to put that. Or coincidentally only into the BBC. Sorry white boys. Like B we get that you watch Lex Steel we all know his dong is big. Anything that really strokes their own ego. I once saw a girl say nothing under 7 inches. And believe me, she was not attractive enough to be that picky. There's a sub for people like her. Achoo sing buggers. The Snapchat dog filter. God I hate that filter. There needs to be a Warhammer filter. I would drop everything for a girl who puts a Krieg Deathcore filter on their bio. Message me if you're a nice guy. Message me if you're able to handle a confident woman. Message me if you're able to hold a conversation more than high. And those are not quotes from three separate profiles. The amount of times I've read it repeatedly misused. I can understand one or two mistakes, but a list of them back to back. Haha, <laughs> I was just giving my mate crap about how his profile says not your average guy. Come on, man. I don't mind if people have kids, I don't mind when they mention their kids. At my age the prospect of someday having stepkids is highly probable and it doesn't bother me. What bothers me when people have photos of their kids on their dating profile, it's creepy and inappropriate. Saw one the other day where the guy had one pic, and it included his kids, and his entire bio said something to the effect of, I love a woman who squirts. I'm sick of all you gold digging good for nothing black women. So only white women swipe right. I swiped right because no one tells me what to do. Jerk. That name had me curious. Didn't disappoint. If any part of their face is obscured in the main picture, whether it's a filter or a hat or huge sunglasses, your main picture is supposed to be your best foot forward. If your best foot forward hides most of your face, I'm going to assume the worst about what I can't see, or that you're a serial killer avoiding identification. Self-describing as a princess. Photos with Snapchat filters applied to them. If you can't handle me at my worst you don't deserve me at my best. Having way too many physical preferences for matches. Must be 6 feet 5 inches or taller with blue eyes and at least 4 tattoos and a beard and only shave one testicle and. Good luck on that hunt there lady. If you message me say something better than hi or what's up, you know what be. If you're such a great conversationalist message me first. Also, I'm single ladies. The worst is, don't be boring, as the whole profile. I see that one all the time. Like, you are so boring you've said literally nothing about yourself, but demand that I be interesting. No thank you. I hate drama. This means I am a full time drama queen. And I don't want anyone competing with me for attention. It's all eyes on me, or frick off. I don't use it much, but on online dating apps I kind of feel like everyone puts the same thing in their bias. I like walking, hiking, camping, gym, my pets are my life, etc etc. I wanna know the funny dorky things you love. Like how many times you've read Harry Potter or maybe something funky you have a collection of, your favorite type of chair. Just weird things that set you apart from the rest that lets me know you're a real person and not a robot. Does not compute. Does not compute. I like food and laughter. Haha. <laughs> I am fun. This is more of a personal one. But the one thing that will make me immediately move on, and I see it a ton where I live, is I need a man who loves the Lord. Nothing against religious people. I'm just not religious at all. It's the number one most common thing I see that tells me that I won't have a long term future with that person. It's off putting when all their photos are them with a different woman who does not look like family. I think men believe it makes women want them knowing they have other women who hang out with them but it just makes me think he has a bunch of women waiting around for him. To me it screams drama. If I see any dude in a woman's Tinder profile I assume it's there so and that they're either cheating or just on Tinder for attention. 
Either way it's a no for me dog. If you want to know something, just ask. I don't care how attracted I am to you. If there is no info in the bio, it's an automatic swipe left. It takes 5 minutes to say a little something about yourself, so that people can decide if their personality meshes with yours. If you can't spare 5 minutes to help yourself find a more compatible partner, you are not relationship material IMHO. I said this the last time a thread like this popped up. I love going on adventures or variant. The frick is an adventure? Do you clear dungeons of the undead? Go on spontaneous camping trips with minimal planning? Or is an adventure doing what you do every weekend? Going to the nearest club and getting s faced? Do you clear dungeons of the undead? I would date someone who did this. Their Instagram account on sites like Bumble or Tinder. Can't tell if they actually want me to reach out via IG or just want followers. They are advertising their Instagram. I'll probably like your dog more than you. I'll probably like you for your dog. My dog is my number one. My dog has to approve of you. Parent of furry child. Something something dog something. Literally half the female profiles on Tinder. If you can't take me out to a nice meal in New York. Own a car and your own place without roommates. Don't talk to me. Yay. That's like a salary of about $90k. Apparently, I'm a paraplegic due to spinal cord injury who uses a wheelchair full time is extremely unsexy. Source, I'm a paraplegic due to spinal cord injury who uses a wheelchair full time. Sigh forever alone. I dated, and fell in love with, a paraplegic once. I hope he's doing okay. As a single guy, I have no problem with other people being discriminating about who they want to date. If a girl only wants to date guys that are over 5 feet 10, make a lot of dollar sign dollar sign dollar sign. Certain ethnicity into or not into certain things I have no problem with that. But understand ladies, if guys that meet all the credentials see this list they might get turned off. I saw a profile where the person said she was a firm believer that people weren't their jobs. Then followed it up with if you think we're equals you should message me with an answer to the question. Imagine yourself 10 years from now, and that you've accomplished all your life's goals over this time frame. Describe the scene. What have you achieved and what makes it ideal the frick? I'm not here to be interviewed for a job. She later put down the criteria she was looking for in a boyfriend, including a background in engineering or econ, high EQ, proficiency in mandarin and knowledge of code as assets. I wish I were making this crap up, if she was being completely serious, she sounded like the least fun person in the world. So, UHH, to answer your question OP, I guess anything that makes interactions with said person like a goddamn job interview. Early on, some girl included in her profile, I'm as hairy as a bear, this, I assumed, implied mature pubic hair growth, I audibly laughed, I won't ever forget it. That awful Marilyn Monroe quote about if you can't handle me at my worst you don't deserve me at my best. If I was a dude, this quote would be the biggest of glaring, nuclear explosion bright red lights for me, as in this crazy is 10 pounds of crazy in a 5 pound bag, and if you stick your dong in it it will splatter all over your life and good luck extricating yourself. Brother, because not only is she crazy, you can bet on a crazy family too. Because dumb if crap don't roll downhill, and they will all take turns fricking your life six ways from Sunday and dragging you into all their drama too kind of crazy. Because literally every chick I have ever known who espoused this quote as some kind of life mantra. Freaking bug shit nuts. You have been warned. Dating profiles are so hard. Dude, but please don't state that you're dominate man. Learn the difference between an adjective and a verb. One dominates, or one is dominant. How the heck else is a sexy, intelligent girl ever gonna submit to your butt? And some of us really, really want that in a relationship. But frick that profile that states they are dominate. If you can't handle me at my worst, you don't deserve me at my best. I need a man, not a boy. I'm actually 17 not 18. I'm still in high school. Proud single mom of 3 kids. Currently in a relationship and just here for friends. B why the frick would you look for friends on a dating site if you have a fricking boyfriend? Including their Snapchat, Instagram, Kick, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, Twitter.
Twitter, etc. in their profile. They are only looking for attention or followers and you shouldn't waste your time messaging them. If their profile is structured more like a list of demands than a list of things about themselves. Okay see. Answering yes to the questions asking if they date someone with HIV or herpes. Not looking to play games. Want something serious. These are massive turn offs for me. What's wrong with just talking meeting up and seeing where it goes. It's like I'm being put under a microscope right out of the gate. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.